Hey guys, welcome back to Three Sons Garage, and we're finally gonna get this uh, Torque 16 engine put back together, finally, uh, just to get you up to speed. I got the piston sleeve in the little torque engine and found out that this torque heatsink is not gonna fit onto this sleeve. So, had to find myself a used VX16 engine, which luckily I did find on eBay that had the heatsink. You're probably asking, why did I have to find a whole engine? Well, it seems like the VX16s, like I guess, are no longer made. So that was the only way I could find a heatsink for it. Um, I mean, I guess if I wanted to, I could probably stick this heatsink in a, in a lathe and maybe just machine it so it would fit on to the sleeve, but um, we don't have time for that. So we're just gonna pull this VX head uh, heat sink off and hopefully throw it on our torque engine so we can finally get this thing together. This engine actually looks pretty decent. It feels like it might have a funky bearing here on the end, but no big deal. I think we can find that. Got a good rod in there it looks like. So we're gonna take uh, take the head off and get it on this engine. I'd like to get it broke in tomorrow. All right, after a little persuasion, I got these little gallons out once again. All right. Well, looks like no gasket on this one. Oh wait, here it is. I mean, that looks pretty good. It looks pretty fresh. So, that's a project for another day. Pretty cool. Amazing what you can find on eBay. You know, like 20 bucks. All right, let's get it, right? All right, so everything looks good. Threads for the glow plug, they look good. Got our gasket. Got a good seating head now on the sleeve. So we're gonna go ahead and put this together. Here's a comparison. This is the VX and this is your torque. Look at the size difference in the rods. Um, a bug, uh, you guys watch him. He says uh, this is an original rod. So he said it's pretty old. So we're, we're gonna leave it in there. Hopefully it's all right. I also wanted to tell you that, you know, when you have your rod out and you'll see your uh, your oiling holes, you want to make sure you take a, a small pick or a toothpick or just something you can get, uh, make sure them oil passages are clear. I, uh, I would show you, but I got the rod in there already. Um, but if you have the rod out, just make sure you can look uh, down at the bushing end here on both ends and you'll see a, your oiling hole and just make sure them passages are clear if they're not clear you're gonna you're gonna burn your rod or break the rod or you know have massive internal damage on your little nitro make sure you're using plenty of your assembly lube uh, to put your engine together as well all right so uh, what do we learn here we learned that we can rebuild our torque engines using VX parts unfortunately with a VX16 sleeve, you're gonna need a VX16 head. Uh, you cannot use the torque head, unfortunately. I was trying to keep it stock appearing on this engine to go back in our Duratrax uh, Maximum ST, but unfortunately we can't do it. So this is the next best thing we can do, at least, you know, you know, from the head down, you know, we're still original. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and finish putting this thing back together and then we'll get it into the truck. So we are gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I got some O-rings, I got a new boot for the, uh, for the shaft on the carb and got a couple O-rings here. I'm gonna go, get, go ahead and put these in and then put it on. There's the old boot. I mean, it's just as brittle as it can ever be and it's cracked in there and you get air which causes tuning issues. So as you can see, it, it's in pieces. That's how bad it was. I had to use 
little pick to pry everything off. It was just glued. Here's your low speed. Just gonna go ahead and pop that little O-ring off and replace it. It's very hard and brittle. So these little guys right here, these are your needle O-rings. Um, if you guys are wondering, the part number is the original Duratrax number. It is a DTXG0420. If you're lucky, you can find these on eBay, but I assume that maybe the VX uh, O-ring kit is interchangeable. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. These, uh, these little O-rings fought me pretty good. Might have had a few choice words for them. I'm getting them back on. You guys got a better way to get these little O-rings on? Can you please drop it in the comments below? That'd be great. So we'll run our uh, needles all the way in. <clears throat> then we're gonna reset them to break-in settings. All right, so I'm, I'm sure I told you this before in the, in the previous video, but your high speed is two and three quarter turns out from fully closed and your low speed should be flush uh, with the face of your, uh, I don't even know what you want to call it. It should just be flush here. So we'll unwind that. Until we're flush. All right. Let's see, we're flush. All right, so we'll do two and three quarter out from closed. Half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, two and three quarter. All right, so that's your break-in set. So we'll we'll run, I, get, I don't know, four or five tanks through it and uh, break it in tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and put the carb on.